Hi, and thanks for joining. In this tutorial, I'm going to give an overview of the query ID field found in post list widgets. Inside of unlimited elements, there are many types of widgets that work with post list attribute. For example, post tabs, post accordions, post grids, post carousels. Any widget that works with posts is working with the post list attribute. Once you add the post list attribute, it adds a whole new section inside of your settings, which is post query, which you can use to filter your posts. If you click on the need help button, you can find a documentation of an explanation of each field and what it does and how it works. The field we're going to be talking about today is called query ID. The first step of using the query ID is just giving it a name. The name I'm going to give my query ID is my query. Once I've added this ID, I can now use it inside of a PHP file. In this case, I'm not going to be using a PHP file, but I will use a third party plugin called code snippets. So I'm going to jump into the WP dashboard. And I've already installed the plugin, but if you don't have it yet, it's called code snippets. I prefer using it instead of pasting my code inside of a PHP file like functions PHP. And I prefer every doing everything inside of the WordPress dashboard. So click snippets and I'm going to be adding a new snippet. Now to make this super easy to understand, we've created some demos for you. So this first little snippet inside of the documentation is an example of how to add a custom filter, which will filter your post list into only today's and yesterday's post. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to paste it inside of my post snippet. And the only thing you need to change over here, is the name that we gave earlier. So I called mine my query. So I'm going to delete the first part over here. And we need to click save. Don't use the upper save button, but scroll down and click save changes and activate. Make sure you gave your snippet a name first. So give it that a name and save changes and activate. Perfect. Now my code snippet is being loaded into the PHP file and it can be shown inside of Elementor. So I'm going to jump back into Elementor, I'm going to save, refresh. And as you can see, now my post list is showing only posts from yesterday and today instead of showing the whole long list that it was showing earlier. So this is just an example of what you can do using query ID and custom filters. To take this to the next step, I made another code snippet, which be, can be found down here. If you scroll down a little bit more, you can see it's a little bit longer. And what it does is it works with the attributes created inside of the widget creator framework. So let's just copy this and replace it with the earlier code snippet. And let's talk about what we need to change over here. So the first thing obviously is our query name. I'm going to change that again to my query. And let's look about what's going on over here. Over here, we're calling one of the attributes from the widget creator. And we're giving the options and each option is going to load a different query and filter our post list differently. So this is using the WordPress uh, query options that they have over there. I'll be posting a link in the comments to show what options uh, WordPress has and they have tons of options. So you can do almost anything with this and so the next step is to add this attribute into the widget and give it options of today and yesterday. So let's just save this down here. I'm going to click save changes. 
go back into Elementor and to edit this widget I'm gonna click on the widget and over here we have a quick button which is called edit widget HTML I'm gonna click on that button it opens the widget creator framework of unlimited elements I'm gonna jump into the attributes tab and add a new attribute this attribute I can give it any label I want so I'm gonna call it um, how many days to show and the name needs to be similar to the name given over here so I'm gonna give it the same name and I'm gonna change the attribute type to a drop-down so we can have a couple of predefined options the first option is gonna be all and obviously all knows to show all it it won't filter anything it's just gonna show all of the posts the next option we want to do let's just jump into the snippet I want to show you this is today and the next one is yesterday so these values need to be filled in over here in item value so let's do today and tomorrow oh I wrote that with uh, spelling mistakes I'm gonna fix that Let's copy it paste it perfect I'm gonna click the add attribute button update to save jump back into Elementor refresh and as you can see now it's showing only today's posts down here this is the new attribute we've added so if I'm going to select all it will show all the posts if I'll filter it to today it will show only today's posts thank you for joining this tutorial if you have any questions please post them in the comments if you have any suggestions please don't hesitate to contact me see you next time